Mm -hmm. All right, got Periscope, we got Facebook, and now we've got YouTube. Now I need to check where all these things actually are. Hello, if you see me, I appreciate you coming on out. Cheers. Happy Sunday, I got my mimosa. It's all ready. A little bit of Prosecco, a little bit of orange juice, and then just some fun frozen fruit at the top before I spill this all over myself. So cheers. Happy uh, Sunday fun day. Hmm. So let me make sure that I have this up all over the places that this needs to be. Don't mind me. Well, I do that. Let's first make sure it's on wine antics. So I can see, oh, yay, already two shares. I bet that was me. <laughs> if it's not me, thank you for sharing. <laughs> so let's pin that to the top. Oh, that's right. Oh, yes, all the shares. Yes. She's, oh, yeah. I'm going through and checking out. I see Stacy's responding to a bunch of my comments. I saw her live stream the hashtag 31 days live challenge earlier she was doing some drawing and it was fun let's do another cheers cheers to you boom maybe i just want to drink a little bit cheers so let's see all right i'm on facebook let's check out periscope oh look i even have it saved everybody gets to hear my angry typing the more i go live Sorry, not sorry. And I have audio too. Mute. We're going to mute some tabs because this can get dangerous. Today I'm using OBS. And I know there's a lot of fun people out there that like OBS. I've been pushing my limits with this hashtag 31 days cha live challenge. Really been pushing my limits and trying to figure out. And the rules are up. This is David Vaughn. This is the creator and instigator of this challenge. <laughs> so if you want to know the rules, you want to know what I'm doing, how things are going, this is what I'm following. I see there are three people on Periscope. Hi, Periscope. Let's see who's out on the YouTubes. YouTube. And what I do is I search YouTube and a wine antics because that's how I find myself. It's sad. I should have that better bookmarked, but I don't. So sorry, not sorry. <gasps> I'm live. <gasps> I'm live. Woohoo. Look at that. All right, need to mute that too because I'm probably creating some terrible feedback. All right. So here we go. Hi, David. Good morning. How are you? How are you? How have you been? What's been going on? Have you been spending a lot of time editing uh, photos? Because you've been a busy man lately. Very busy. Um, I loved seeing all your photos. Don't mind me as I clean up my desk, too. Um, and I have no place to put these pens. Oh, no. Where did my... Oh, there it is. Um, I saw all your VidCon photos, and I'm totally out of frame. Um, they were pretty exciting. I liked getting a glance of what VidCon looks like through your uh, lens. Oh, I, I appreciate it because I didn't get to go. I've been looking for my next gig. Your next gig. Do you get paid as a photographer? Or are you actually a paid photographer? Do you have a business going on doing that? I mean, I don't want to know how much money you make per se. I just am always um, happy when people get get paid for the good work that they do. I don't know if I shared this out. Wow, six shares. Yay. Yay. I think Live Leap is working for me. I'm going to share this out to my personal page. Uh, grab um, uh, Sunday fun day. Let's just do that. Sunday hashtag oh, fun day. That's one word with me and a mimosa. And where's the little happy icon? Happy icons. We all need these happy emojis. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I have too many emojis, apparently. I can't find the happy, bubbly emoji. I wish there could be just like a wine lover's emoji. Uh, just like all types of wine, food, and travel stuff. I need that. 
post to the public. Uh, no, I need this on my personal page. Thank you, Adal. Post. All right, so I've shared it out. <gasps> Hi, Douglas. Happy what? Indie day? What is indie day? What is happy indie day? I have a little coffee left, too. You're going to have to let me know what indie day is. And if anybody on Periscope knows what indie day is. Thank you, everybody. Hi, from Periscope. Thanks for coming by. I know that it's, you know, it's one o'clock on the East Coast. Hello, T, T, P, J, P, T. Wow. Got a little bit of a dyslexia going on right there. Uh, thanks for coming by. I know it's probably like seven o'clock uh, GMT time. It's one o'clock in the afternoon here on the East Coast. And that means it's like 10 o'clock in the morning on the West Coast. And this is what I find is the best day or best day, best time to come on and talk about these, talk about uh, brunch type of things. Um, if you don't know what the rules are up on the screen is a 31 day, uh, 31 days and that day's live. There you go. 31 days live, 31 days live. If I keep saying it enough every day, I will totally retain this. Um, it's a challenge I'm doing and anybody is welcome to do it. Um, I'm going to share where I've posted more about the rules. Um, it is on medium HTTP. Oh, I'm following, I'm watching this as my, on my other Periscope account. This is kind of creepy, kind of very inception. HTTP colon slash slash www.medium dot com why do these have to be so darn long at at jen's live this is where i've posted the rules for the 31 days challenge copy there i'm sharing it out on periscope i'm going to put it up here july 4th in oh in well i saw indie douglas as like indie films indie concept not independence day <laughs> well happy almost Independence Day to you, my friend, and Post Canada Day. I have a great story about the power of social media on VidCon. <gasps> so actually excited to hear that. You should go live and talk about it a little bit. You, David, should be joining this challenge too. I'm going to post the rules, the my thoughts, my thoughts, and the rules, the tools, the tools, not the tools, the rules for hashtag 31 days live challenge and i'm doing two days out of the week here on wine antics oh my god i can't see i can't spell challenge here is that stop it stop trying to autocorrect facebook there no no i don't want to tag myself untag mm -hmm. Facebook, stop it. Live. Okay, there, it worked. Go, go forth. Yay, I posted it like six times. Hi, Lori. Thanks for coming by. Pin comment. Sorry about the 12 posts for this, but this is what I'm doing right now. I'm challenging myself to be a better live streamer and content creator. I shared it like six times. Everybody will know about it. <laughs> Let's see what we're doing here on YouTube. Only myself watching. That's awesome. I love that. It's the best thing. All right. So, you know, it'll make this all better. Just a little bit more mimosa. Mm. So I started this challenge yesterday, which was the 1st of July. And anybody that's interested in it, there's no reason you can't start it like today just kind of start off do it why not you're gonna get a whole lot out of this um and I feel like I can say you can get a lot out of this because I've done this before last year I did a scope a day in May where I sat down and did a periscope live stream once once a day for the entire month of May and that was I think it was also 31 days I think I missed a total of two days and that was like huge an Instagram model was verbally abusing a security guard. People took him to his platform and made the guard three times more popular in response. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's, 
I don't, an Instagram model was verbally abusing a security guard. Ugh. Sometimes, yeah, I'm going to leave my opinions at the door because I'm enjoying a mimosa, but I'm glad that social media responded properly to it. Um, how was the rest of the wedding? What wedding? Oh, the wedding photo shoot on Sunday. Oh, it was great. I actually made a little video about it and I want to share that. Uh, I need to find a way to share it. Uh, I took, I think I did. I think I shared it on my timeline where I was doing all types of like cuts, video cuts for Brittany, who was the photographer and my friend. I wanted to show how hard she works. She's a super hardworking photographer and if and she's the only one I've worked with she did my headshots for me personally and for all the stuff for wine antics which became my banner thanks to Mario Armstrong um, and she does such quality work and if other photographers like David Gonzalez here work half as hard as she does it's an amazing thing that you guys do and I have all types of notifications coming in too because because when you go live everybody wants to talk to you it makes it makes perfect sense. Um, so the rest of the wedding was pretty uneventful. Uh, we were just there to take photos. They only booked her for a certain amount of time. So we left afterwards. And then we went home and we ate Chipotle and uh, drank a little wine, drank a little beer, had a good night. It was a good day. Uh, maybe I should start this. I just got laid off. Job searching. Yes, why not? Check it out. Check out my blog post about it and see if it fits with what you would like to talk about. You have a vast amount of uh, knowledge about wine, Doug. Totally should check it out. Totally should try it. Um, let's see, what other comments do we have? Hello, Mr. Mad Martian. Hello, Mike. I miss your hats every week. I really do. Um, I could post every day what I'm uh, interested in applying. Yes, freaking live stream the job search process, Douglas do it totally because it's a nightmare and you're going through all these like vast ups and downs and craziness it is not easy searching for a job these days so that would be actually super interesting to watch treat it as a, a vlog and set yourself up and teach yourself some new things um i've learned like half of the reason why i'm doing this is not because i need more content because i'm creating a lot of content but because there are certain things like what I'm doing today, which is I'm using OBS instead of Wirecast, I want to learn different things when it comes to live streaming. I, I was here last Thursday, but there was no show. I'm sorry, Douglas. Or so, I'm sorry, uh, Mike. Uh, yes, we are on break for Wine Antics Live until uh, the 3rd of August. Uh, Stubb is going to, uh, I think he's actually in the Caribbean right now. So he needed some time off and I kind of needed a little bit of a, a mental break myself. Just needed a little time to do some other things and chill out. So we are on break for Wine Antics Live until August 3rd, but we'll be back and we'll have some great people. Um, so I want to get to what I wanted to talk about today. Um, because I had day one of, uh, this, uh, 31 days live, I didn't do what I normally do on Saturdays. And normally what I like to do is a thing called gratter day, where I kind of talk about the good things that are going on in life, reflect on the week and try to put some positivity out there. There's, you know, we spend so much time working and doing and doing and doing, and I'm totally guilty of this, that we don't often take time to just step back and think about what good things are going on. Uh, thank you. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. I think I appreciate you tweeting it out, and I hope you use the um, hashtag 31 days live uh, hashtag because that's how I'm creating a Twitter list and kind of keeping track of what everybody is doing. Um, so the point of today's, uh oh, I'm getting beeps. I'm getting angry beeps. My computer system is not happy. Oh no, it's the end of the world. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so for today, I'm trying to focus on a little bit of positivity. I'm trying to focus on the good things that have come up in my life. And there are a ton of good things that have come up. So the first thing is, and I'm going to switch this out a little bit. Take that away, take that away, and you can see my OBS. Boom. I don't know how this is going to work because 
now I can't see the Facebook comments. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is not necessarily ladies go live, but it's this and not my lovely comments from Stacy per se, <laughs> or from my group text that's going on because now I'm showing you all of my Facebook wine trail adventures. If you guys didn't know, I as wine antics have been doing, um, blogging, uh, chatting, talking, live streaming, a ton of stuff. I'm drinking mimosas and coffee. This is, this is how life goes. Um, I'm doing all of this stuff. Uh, let me, I forgot about that. Here we go. Now you can see, um, I've been doing this, but for about a year and a half now, and I feel like I've come pretty far. Um, I don't think about how far I've come or what, what the impact is and what live streaming has meant to me all the time. But when something so good happens to you, that's when you really start to think, okay, I've achieved something. I've done something. Uh, Wine Trail Adventures and I spent about six weeks talking before I signed a contract with them. I am going to be leading up their influencer or ambassador program. What I'm going to be doing is helping other content creators like myself get paid paid for their wine opinions, their winery opinions. And this was such a very strange process. And um, I'm so grateful to Wine Trail Adventures. And I hope that as I go along, I'm able to talk a little bit more about them and my journey with them. I don't know. We will see. I've got to ask permission and, and do all that stuff. But for now, um, it was such a great process uh, that... All of this is that's happening. Thank you, David. All of it is all of it that's happening. Um, what has been my idea? And I'm not I'm not saying this to take credit or boast about it. I'm saying it because I'm just amazed. I'm amazed that somebody is that somebody took my opinion and what I thought was a problem within the wine content creation community that means bloggers vloggers video creators reviewers whatever it is that you're doing as a, a wine content creator they saw the problems that i identified and this is after talking to lots of bloggers and and uh video creators and let me go through a research process and it are, is letting me create a program to fit a need Letting me do that, letting me do something that I'm very frustrated about. And sometimes frustration leads to passion. And I get to solve a problem for everybody. For the wineries, they're getting great information about how people perceive their wines and their winery. For Wine Trail Adventures, of course, they're connecting with everybody. They're connecting with wineries. They're connecting with um, wine content creators. Um, so they're getting what they need out of this situation as well and they're getting they're taking this app because that's primarily what this is it's an app that you go out and you describe your adventures it's a wine trail um and they're getting this app the data populated and then of course the wine content creators uh are getting paid i'm not saying that this is going to be a million bucks this is not going to be something that you can you know, totally leave your day job. But as the program develops, you know, I'm going to be behind the scenes thinking about this as a wine content creator and trying to do the best I can to help them out. So stay tuned for more about Wine Trail Adventures and what I'll be doing with them. It's going to be a, kind of a rough month in July. I'm going to be setting up the program. I'm going to be asking for information and help from my wine, my wine friends in order to um, understand what the needs are and how I can develop this program. So I'm really going to be leaning on on my wine. Well, anybody with a social media presence, anybody that blogs, honestly, anybody that vlogs, anybody that w is willing to go to a winery and talk about it. Uh, do they have California wineries? Yes, David, they do. They have it. It's all over the United States. Um, so you just got to go on and check out the app 
check out what wineries are out there and get a feel of it. I, I have a good feeling that this is going to develop over time and things are going to change with this app. And I love that I get to be a part of this. So I'm very grateful for my first week, which I just had my first week with them. And I have a lot of work ahead of me and I'll, and I'm very excited about it. And I haven't talked about it until now. I've kind of talked about it with a couple people, but this, the contract is signed. I've had my first week. I submitted my W9. Um, I feel like a legit contractor. Oh, it's, it's insane. Oh, it's time to drink for that. Totally time to drink for that. cheers <laughs> um so I also want to hear you know this is the one really big thing that's happening to me and one thing that I'm I'm kind of excited about I'm like nervous excited about it like I can't be like yay rah 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 because that's stuff like you finish something this is a, a kind of excitement that it's a nervous energy that I feel and there's so many things to do and when I get nervous and when I have this level of energy it's more like my brain starts turning and I get a little bit quiet actually because it's just it's just exciting. <laughs> so please let me know what you have coming up, what projects you're working on, what things you've just finished with. Take a moment right now and just think about what you've achieved and what some good things are coming up in your business, in your personal life and I know Douglas this is hard talking specifically to you if you're there because you're going through just being laid off. But um, once you start going through this process, you might find that it's something that you appreciate or, or you may not. Lean on your community and think of that as a good thing. Find your community and get them to help you. I know um, Boozy, Boozy Life, uh, Demetra. Um, she's out in California. She reached out to the wine community and they totally supported her. Oh, good. Totally supported her and helped her to find a job out in California. So reach out to your, to your network and your connections and see what that does. You might find that you have a better, uh, network than you thought. And that is something that you can be grateful for. <sighs> but David, I'd love to know what you have coming up. Mike, I would love to know what you have coming up too. And I appreciate you guys on the West Coast and in Chicago um, coming out to have brunch with me in your PJs. <laughs> Don't mind me as if I taste the whole time. Let's see, do I have anybody? Nope, just me over on YouTube. And I have two people sharing or sitting here and watching me in Periscope. Shout out to Periscope. I come by every once in a while and I say hello. <laughs> it's only a tab away, but it seems like a world, a world away. I wonder if I can fit it on this screen. Nah, there you go. Now you can see the whole Periscope screen. What I don't like, oh, maybe, maybe. Let's see if I can make this work. All right, can I make this work? Probably not. I'm probably just messing up my whole screen. Why do I need all? Oh, maybe there we go. <gasps> maybe I can make this work. A little bit off screen. A little bit off screen. A little bit on screen. I could see at least. Ah, all right. Maybe now I'll be able to see. Or <laughs> just change to full screen. The live streamer problems. I'm telling you. All right. I think. I think I'm good now. I think, yeah, it's off screen. So I can actually look here for Periscope and over here for Wirecast, Wirecast, OBS and Facebook. At this point, I'm back to finding speakers for Fearless Fridays and getting ready to launch You Review, key takeaway from books authored by YouTubers. That is awesome. There's actually one woman and I do not know her name. I went down the VidCon path of, of destruction. And, and I mean by destruction as destruction in my time. Because <laughs> VidCon can suck up your time. They have um, a lot of people that were there. And I respect YouTubers a lot. 
I think there's a lot of books out there by YouTubers. I'm a personal fan of Hannah Hart. I met her when she went on the Hello Harto tour. Um, and she's done My Drunk Kitchen, which kind of inspired me to really like, if, if wine is what I like, I'm going to do wine. And if video is what I like, I'm going to do video about wine. Um, so she has that one book of My Drunk Kitchen. And she also has another more personal book, which, I, which would be really interesting from my perspective to read. So if you're down that path, Hannah is a sweetie. I have a picture with her from 2004 or 2014. Ah, she is a sweetie. And I wish there was more of her to go around because she's quite popular now on YouTube. Have you met her in the past? Um, Mike just posted the Michael Clouda video. Really? Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> I know. That's been like the bane of your existence. Just in terms of what you need to get done. I know. Um, for the better part of a year. <laughs> so thank you. Uh, you'll need to, hey, drop a link here in Facebook. Hello, Benicia. Drop a link in Facebook. Cheers. Benicia has come in and joined us. Cheers. Um, let me drink. <laughs> um, I'm glad you got it up and I would love to share it. So put it up in the comments, Mike. Uh, Douglas, I know you put a comment up. Do you have many friends here in the Chicago area? The only like wine connection I know is Cindy, um, writing, writing. Um, I know, I think she, she was a teacher for many years and she recently retired her. I think her husband is still a lawyer. I'm not sure if that's a solid connection for you, but she may be somebody worth talking to because she is in the wine industry and she's pretty well known throughout the blogging circuit and has done really well. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much for sharing that. Go check out Mike's video. Seriously. And if you're on Periscope, you should be over on Facebook so you could check out Mike's video. Maybe I'll put it over there. I'll just drop it in there. Here's Mike's video about Michael Clouda. Oh, I didn't get the whole link. My bad. Wait, one more time. For Periscope. One more time. Come on. Here we go. I wish Periscope links would, would be better. They're not very good. All right. There's Mike's video. Copy that as quickly as possible. Uh, great time in Lodi. Michael Clouda was a great place to visit. The Muved was to die for. If you have any connections with Michael still and he's looking for anybody to create content around his wine, I will take all of his Muved. All of it. Send it all to me. Um, I know you will too. I know you're a big fan. Uh, yeah. Cindy, you know, just tap into her. Talk, talk with her. Um, David, I see you've already done, you've already like read nine YouTubers books. That's, that's insane. You have a buttload of content waiting for you. You could do the hashtag 31 days live uh, challenge about all of the books, all of the books. And I know you're building out bigger content for that, but you could tease about it. You could do five minutes and just start talking about it. And that's nine days worth of content. And that has, that's and you could still do more. That's what's amazing about it. All right. So the second thing I wanted to share is a little bit more personal. And this is a project that I'm working on. I know that it doesn't necessarily belong on Wine Antics. But you know what? I'm a human being. And this is brunch time chat. And this is what I'm going to do. If you don't like it, go away. <laughs> um, so I'm working on a project uh, that is Ladies Go Live. Uh, if you didn't know, this is a, a bigger summit that we have planned for the 25th of August. And I promise I won't, I won't promo this too much. Um, but on the, on the page, okay, I shared something from Miss Jenny Quinn. Now, uh, I know people in the live stream community know who she is. Um, but for my wine friends, uh, she is somebody that uh, did a variety show on live stream. Everything. She talked about everything. Business, marketing, uh, dogs, uh, 
I don't, I don't even know. Like it's the whole gamut. I was on her show. Both Stubb and I were on her show. It was a lot of fun. But she here has recently, recently lost 150 pounds. I don't know if you can hear that. Maybe, maybe if I turn the desktop audio. For my after pictures, yes, you can hear that a little bit. A photo shoot. So she's recently lost and 150 pounds. Shoot. This is I her photo shoot. Do and I, like, oh, I don't think she did the swimsuit but i wanted to show look how confident and amazing she looks in these shots i'm kind of obsessed with photography recently not really but i'm so proud of her journey and i think this is a major accomplishment and i said this to her that this is such a such a big deal i hope you take a moment and reflect on this of what you've achieved and what's going on and I'm very proud of her. So in when I do this Gratter Day, uh, which is kind of bled over to Sunday Fun Day because I did other content <laughs> yesterday, um, I want to highlight the fact that I'm very proud of her and what she's done. And we don't spend a whole lot of time talking about what others do and how we are proud of them and uh, all these different things. So I wanted to take a moment and shout out to her. And shout out to some of the ladies that have um, responded to her. Um, Mia Vallas, I know. Uh, Maureen. D uh, Barb ha uh, responded to her. Um, Leslie Nance, who, despite how big and popular she gets, she really is quite a relatable woman. And I love that about her. And a couple other women. Uh, M Monique, so Q, she also responded to her and is supporting her. Like, I love to see that. I love to see other women supporting an accomplishment. And this is all part of this Ladies Go Live live stream um, summit that we're talking about. Uh, so I was proud of her this and I wanted to show the video and the fun she had in her photo shoot and uh, celebrate her accomplishment. So that's that's for Jenny Q. The last thing I want to talk about, and I'm going to pop over to my other screen because we don't need to see all that again. Boom, boom. And do this. All right. So the last thing I have going on is I wanted to take, oh, thank you for the hearts. There's a couple hearts out there. I appreciate that Periscope. See, I can actually see you now. So when you make a comment, I can see you. Hello. Hello, it's the infamous Stubb, my co-host from Wine Antics. He's in the house. I don't know where you are um, in the world. Are you on vacation, Stubb? Oh, thank you for the hearts on Periscope. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, are you on vacation, Stubb? Where are you in the world? I do not know Andrea Burkini. I do not know her. Leslie's amazing and humble. Yes, David. Yes. She is totally humble and amazing. Um, Colleen Bellinger's book required a bottle of scotch to get through. Oh, that's that's scary. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> I feel like I should already make a comment about that. Um, hello, C. Appreciate you coming by on Periscope. Um, the, the last thing I want to do now is small victories. And joining this challenge, again, here are the rules. And I will pin my comment about the rules again, if I can find it all the way down here. <gasps> Where did my comment go? Dang it. Um, this is what I'm doing. The hashtag 31 days live challenge. I This is a small thing in life, but it can have such big impact as I go forward. There's so many things that I wanted to learn. I wanted to spend more time writing about my journey. Benicia, who's in the audience, actually uh, has been a little bit of an inspiration for this, as well as Debbie Gwil, do you know? I can't say her last name. She's uh, the Hudson Valley wine goddess, and that's what I can share her because I can't say her last name, but it's horrible. Uh, these two ladies have been very uh, instrumental in me doing this. Um, and with this 31 uh, days live challenge, I, I want to push a couple of my limits. I want to share more of the process of what I'm going through. Uh, I want to be able to document it a little bit better. I want to be able to make it a little bit easier for myself and for others that are going through a journey uh, in terms of 
business or life or struggling through everyday occurrences. So I'm very grateful for the small thing that is this little challenge that can have such a big impact. And I think that's why I harp on it so much is because I did something like this last year. I learned a hell of a lot about myself. A hell of a lot. I learned a lot about wine. And I learned a lot about what people do and do not care to hear me talk about in terms of wine. People do not care about uh, that sparkling wine comes out of Brazil. And then what are the other three top three uh, wine producing regions in South America? Whereas I care a lot about that. I find that interesting. But people on Periscope and people on Facebook don't really care about that. And that's okay because that's that's identifying your audience. That's creating better content for for who's watching you and who appreciates what you're doing. And I want to like take away all the snobbery of wine. I want to be able to translate what I've learned into what helps others to want to try more wine. I don't I don't care if you like it or you don't. Honestly, I don't because there's taste is so subjective. But I want you to try it. I just want you to try all of it because it's another thing to explore in this world. And trying and and doing different things is that that spice of life. It's the variety of things. So, um, this 31 days live challenge has, is the small victory that I am, um, putting out for my gratter day, which is now the Sunday fun day from here on out though, let me tell you, I don't plan on making this so heavy. Um, and uh, I want it to be more fun, but I want it to be like a come, a come together every Sunday where I'll have a glass of bubbly and we could talk about our week, talk about funny things, talk about weird things, talk about whatever you have going on. And I'll be here to just sit here and chill out with you, share some great videos, um, and see where this goes. Yeah. Uh, let me troll through the comments. True. Yeah. I'm going to troll you guys. Uh, do you, uh, no, that one is already addressed. Um, cheers. Yes. Cheers. Let's just do that. And any random time anybody says cheers, or if I get a super heart from you on Periscope, I will totally cheers. Uh, so I don't see a ton of other comments, but I do appreciate the like combined seven people that have hung out with me and have given me a little bit of your Sunday. Uh, Look for me next week. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to keep this till one o'clock in the afternoon Eastern time. So that's like seven o'clock in the evening um, overseas, and it's you know ten o'clock in the morning West Coast. And I I went forty minutes today during this challenge. Challenge you're only supposed to do like five minutes. Like the minimum is five minutes. You know, nobody does five minutes live streaming. <laughs> nobody it just doesn't happen. Um, but I'll stay. Uh, up to an hour, but as long as people want to chat with me and want to share what they have going on. Um, otherwise, I appreciate you being here and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'm going to go finish up this glass and maybe another. I'm just saying. It's it's Sunday. It's fun. Uh, have a great week and I'll figure out some sign off somewhere down the road. <laughs> But for now, let's just shut down wire. Let's just shut down OBS. If I don't get that right one of these days, one of these days. <laughs> Bye.